in this project here, I got a Craftsman tractor of my brother's that he blew the wheel off the spindle. Uh, and you know, Craftsman tractors, it's like a ton of money to get the new stuff. I mean, it's so bad. I don't know if you can see here, but this is what it's supposed to look like. It has a spacer that goes in there on both sides. So the spindle will fit in there and then it just rotates on this. But you gotta keep them greased. Well apparently he didn't keep it greased because it tore everything right out. I mean it just flew the whole spindle apart. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. This is supposed to have an end to it. Don't mind my washer in there, I have an idea, but Trying to find some scrap pipe laying around. <laughs> Maybe we can rigger something up here. Here's what I fabricated. I'm trying to make a new hub to go inside the wheel. I just got an old, um, oversized, real thick washer. Don't laugh at my weld. Um, and I was going to originally do it like this and tack weld it in, slide the wheel on, and then finish it off with the clip. But what I ran into was my washer, and this being so warped, I have no way to straighten it, this ring. And I'm afraid that it'll rub. So I might have to get another oversized washer but what I have an idea now is try to do this with one hand is this piece of pipe well actually I bashed a washer in there that washer I was laying in there I beat it down with a hammer and some pipe I mean it's wedged in there good I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in there and, and actually put a couple tacks in there or not I haven't tried yet but what I want to do is, I want to put this washer, which I had to drill out to fit the spindle. Boy, it's hard to do this with one hand. With a little bit of, of work, I can get this to fit flush in here. So I'll weld that in, and in my theory is, ah, that I should be able to bash this into the rim give myself a new a new spindle and then on the other side then where he has this tore off is to get another oversized washer well, well when I say oversized I mean thick look how thick that is just found these laying around I think it's from when I did a hitch kit on a neighbor's truck I just I say junk like that but anyhow if I drill out the middle with my step drill and this will take a weld around it without burning the tire off um, I'll have my homemade spindle so we'll see I'm not sure how I actually lucked out with this but this washer fits perfectly flush a little bit of the Dremel like dang I'll take it now if I could put some tacks around there without melting everything this this might turn out to actually be pretty good yeah, here you go I don't know how good you can see it my tack turned into welds all over ground them down but in theory should fit in there just like that after I bash it in there with the good old two pound hammer anyhow I'm gonna attempt to tack and I mean tack this time in there uh, without exploding the tire last time I exploded uh, a tractor tire in here it uh, kind of shot through my window yeah that was wild tire ended up on that side of the garage over there pieces all over knocked me down on my butt there so we'll see 
I didn't explode the tire. Got four tacks in there. I just gotta clean them up. Uh, bashing the new hub in isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna have to go around and try to weld it without exploding the tire. It really isn't satisfying me too good because, well, it's just not. So hopefully when I'm done, it'll look better. I'm in the process now of welding the top hub on, but I got to do a little bit at a time. I want to get a good bead around here, but uh, just a little bit I've been doing there. You can smell hot rubber, so I just let the wheel cool down. And I had to make a little modification over here to my back spindle. I had to cut some of the length off it because once I slid the tire on, uh, I didn't have room for the pin. So I'm hoping in my junk box I can find another one of these. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go buy one. <laughs> That's kind of stupid, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, that's it. Just gonna pump everything full of grease. My primitive welding skills. It's not bad. I'm not gonna bother painting it because it's not my tractor. But uh, put everything back on. I'll get a new C clip. And uh, I just had the wheel on. It spins real nice. And I think I maybe got uh, total price is uh, two welding rods and uh, one C-clip. So I'll just put everything back together and get the C-clip. Thanks.